evening. Good to see you here. Hi, MG. Hi, Bunny. Right. Not much has happened. Right, not much. The news happenings, is that the one about how FBI, FBI have gone down to, is it North Carolina? Because I'm hearing Seth went down there as well. And now Seth is on his, was on his way back. Don't know if he's back home now, don't know. But that doesn't mean nothing. Yeah. Um, my take on that. All I'm saying is, no, I haven't bung it, and we will be what looking at that tonight. Well, listening to that tonight, okay? Right. Um, when they when FBI went down there, they would have to get all the camera footage from all the trials to see who he was with from the footage by the main that main anchor's way there. They need to see who he who he was with if it is him. Right, so they got all this camera footage to look through. Right? And people have I've heard people say, did they put the scent dogs there? You know, where's in that photo, Sebastian? Apparently, Sebastian, I'm going to say Sebastian, where Sebastian was standing. I know. Um, but I don't think that he's bonny. I don't think that he's. But we'll talk about that in a minute. Right. Um, and they're saying, have they had the scent dogs there to get his scent, maybe off the stones he was standing on? Could they do fingerprinting off that wall? Now, there's some surfaces they can't print. They can't. You just can't do it. So, so like they've got all that footage, and that's, and it's not going to be there by the time they got there. Because they are probably heading to the car when that photograph was taken. It's either heading to a car or a bus or a coach. So by the time FBI and all that lot of emerged on them, then he's gone. So they've got to look at the footage. See. Where we went, what car we got into, because he had to be in a, some sort of car or a bus or something. And they have to pay $25 each to get in there. Right, so he's obviously got to be with someone. He's got to, that is, I'm adamant that is Sebastian. I don't care. I'm with Seth on this. Right. I, when I first saw that picture, I went, oh, my God, they found Sebastian. That's my first thought. Oh, my God, they have found Sebastian. Right? So, he's gone by now. So, they've got to go through all the camera footage. Talk to the staff who was on that day. They've got to take statements off everyone, anyone who probably saw him, you know what I mean, who works there. So they've got to talk to all the staff members. Did you see this lad on this trail? Did you see this lad in this county cafeteria? You know what I mean? Yes, there's a lot of people that go there, but sometimes a certain child can stand out a certain child can stand down. Believe me, if I took my grandson, my one grandson, anywhere, and then we went back two, three days later and said, do you remember this lad? 
was he eating in here the other day? I can guarantee you the staff will go, oh, yes, he was here. Oh, yes, we know that lad. We remember that lad. Because Ellis is, my grandson, is so loud. So, so loud. And he can't stand, st sit still for long. He can't. He really can't sit still for long. Unless he's got his tablet in front of him. Right, you cannot keep him still for long. So, they've got to speak to all the staff. They've got to look at all that footage. So, that could take a while. So, there's nothing else they can do there now. So, they've got all the information they need. They're coming back to wherever. The Seth is coming home. Thank you, Heather, Heather Ann. Right. So now it's just a waiting game. But nothing has been confirmed, yes or no, whether it's Sebastian. So, it, as I said, it's just a waiting game. I hope the pray is Sebastian. I would love this to be Sebastian. I really would. Because I don't want to think about the other option. I really don't want to think about the other option. Um, last night, MG, I was com had the Google Maps on. And I was going around the uh, place where they went. Right? And I was taking you along the... Uh, swing bridge. That's the only way you'll get me on that swing bridge is through Google. Right? And it's a vast area. It's a very big area. And they've got, as I said, they've got all those trail cameras to check. Because someone could say, yes, I remember him. I've seen him, I've seen him heading towards this trail or heading up this way to that trail. So if that's the case, I've got to get all those trial cameras. I've got to get them all. Well, if they don't need the trial cameras because it didn't go over that way, then it's just the main entrance cameras and then one by the, where the, I should imagine the washrooms are and maybe somewhere to get something to eat or drinkies. You know what I mean? So, it's just a waiting game. But I hope it is MG. I really hope that is M uh, Sebastian. Praying is Sebastian. Well, when you got chance, look, I'll send you the link. And when you get chance, just watch it. Okay, you can skip through a lot of it if it's not <laughs> of interest to you. But I'll just show the area of, what's it called now, that mountain? Grandfather's, um, Wilson Centre for Nature Discovery. It's a big area. So I'll, I'll send you the link, MG. I'll do it when I finish this now. And then you can watch it in your own free time. I'm not forcing you. Just watch this. Anyway. Yeah, I am so... I got up this morning and I'm thinking, I know this is too soon. Because I know, okay, they've had that information since last Saturday. But by the time they received that information got their heads screwed on and actually got down there, the place was, A, probably shut because I heard it shut early on certain days. It shut early, earlier. So it was probably shut by the time they got the information and got the backsides in order. So possibly Monday was the first chance they had to get down there. 
to check the cameras to get the camera footage. Maybe phone them because someone's bound to be there. Or even phone the people who, the owners, phone them and say, look, we, we are who we are and tell them. We need to look at your footage from Saturday. All of your footage from Saturday. Right? They could have opened it up for, and then they could have probably saved all those videos from Saturday for the FBI. Got it all ready for them. But something I noticed, Seth went down. Now, if that had been Sebastian, where was his mom? Has anyone heard of her? Apart from that one comment she made about the picture, but that could have been Chris. No one's actually physically seen or heard of Katie since that last interview she did, which was for uh, about three, four minutes long. Right, like, no one has heard your singer, and people are saying, "Do we? Do you think we need to do about?" Get a welfare check on her. Because no one's heard or seen her. They've had that one message saying, she's seen the photo and they're not 100% sure they're waiting on confirmation. Now, come on, love. Come on. This is your son. You gave birth to that lad. You've looked after him for the last 15 years. Right? Would you not know your own son? Right? I haven't seen some family members of mine for what? Hmm. When was the last? Apart from my sister and my nephew, who come up from my son's wedding in, what, two, three years ago? Two years ago. I haven't seen any of my family since 2019. But I'll tell you now, if I went to the shops and I, was, I walked past them, I'd recognise them. And that's just my brothers or sisters, not my son, not my child. Yeah, that's what I said. She did make that post that she thought, she posted that she thought it was Sebastian. But she was, she's waiting for the confirmation. In my eyes, I wouldn't need confirmation. I'd be going, that's my son. That's my flipping son. However, someone apparently, don't know who, has come on a YouTube and put a comment in. I don't know what channel it was to go, I can't even find it. Put a comment in. And his name is Dominic. That lad in the picture is called Dominic. And he's always getting. Um, asked if his name is Sebastian. Why isn't the lag come on? If that's the case, why hasn't that lag come on and said, look, that is me in that photo, and my name's Dominic, I am not Sebastian Rogers. You know what I mean? I will talk to FBI, to confirm it, everything. But the lag hasn't come forward. Someone else came forward and said, his name is Dominic. And that's all I can tell you because I don't know what YouTube channel it was on or anything. Hold on. Oh, I do hope. You have to keep hope. You have to keep hope up in there. Because all possibilities are open at the moment. Nothing is off the table. For we know... Oh! On Smiley's world, she was talking today. I think it was at least today's one she done. She wasn't... She didn't have a camera on. She wasn't feeling well, so she had a camera off. But you knew it was Smiley. And she was telling us how she was talking to an engineer that came to her home, something about some um, 
the computer system being put in her home or whatever. And she asked him, right? And then she said, how would you go about disabling a security system? And the guy said, it wouldn't leave holes in the wall. No, no, no. He said, but you can go on YouTube and it will show you everything you need to do. How to disable a home security system and remove it without leaving holes in the wall. And then she said, forget that, forget that. She said, imagine it's pitch black outside, pitch black. Right? What about my neighbour's cameras picking me up? Oh, well then you can just buy this thing, uh, a jammer, or what do they call them, online. She said, okay. And she said, I wasn't really listening that clearly because she's busy making a coffee. <laughs> that would be me. That would be me. I'd have to say, stop there, minute. I'm just going to make my coffee and then I'll be right back. Hold on. Don't say another word. Right? Anyway, as she's coming back to the table, she said, so you can use a jammer. Right? So not just jams your your home security, it will jam your neighbours, right? Said, and in some cases, listen to what this she says, I will play it in, if you want. She said, go then turn around and said, in some cases, you just get two white specks. Now, what does that remind you of? Two white specks. Hmm? And she hasn't even spoke about that video with the camera with the lights. Right? She hasn't done anything on that. And when he said that, she nearly dropped her coffee. Because she thought, oh my god. She said she had to get up there and go outside to have a smoke. Left the guy in the kitchen with her husband. Because she couldn't believe what she was just hearing. And she said, I didn't even think about recording what he was saying. Uh, Smiley, if you're listening, next time, record it. <laughs> but then again, sometimes you don't think about it, do you? You're just asking them in general a question. Now me, I'll be on phone, on record. On record. Alright? But... I have a switch, I can turn my camera off from my from in my garage. I can also turn mine off by my phone. Think about it. exactly. Exactly. It's just that the fact that he said if the jam if that if you do that jammer, whatever they call them, where you jam all the signals, yeah? It's just the fact that he said you will be left, you will just see two white spots. And what do we see in that video? Two white spots. So, I'm thinking, did she use a jammer, uh, one of them contraptions, whatever you call them? So, a lot of things you do, you can do now by phone. I'm thinking it's like over Christmas because I've got two cats. Now, normally, I take my cats with me when I go to my son's because he lives in the same place, same area as me. But I thought, well, I've got two cats now, so they've got company for each other. And I only go for Christmas Day, and then I stop the night and come back Boxing Day. So I thought, it's, it's literally a day and a half, two days, not even two days, because I don't leave eat till about 11 a.m. in the morning, 10, 11. I am in the morning. And then I'll get back Boxing Day about four-ish, four or five. But I'm thinking of getting a little camera. Oh, two little cameras, just two small ones. With up in my, one in my living room. Or, yeah, one in my living room and one in my bedroom. I can take them down when I come home. 
just so that I, and it can log into your phone you can got the app then and you can watch them on the phone and i thought if i get two or three i can put a third one in the hallway then they they can't hide from me i've got among everything the only place they could hide from me would be the kitchen um, so i'm thinking of buying three little cameras and they're only you think of a, a lighter right a lighter it's about it's not even the size of a lighter and you can just put them in the corners of your living room and then uh, um the app and I, uh, on. you can watch them whenever you want so i'm thinking of doing something like that because then i can watch my cats while i'm not there and see what the little tinkers are up to Exactly, she knows exactly what she's dealing with. And the fact that they said they haven't got no security cameras at all on their home, I'm sorry. Sorry. I do not believe that. Plus, Chris slipped up. He slipped up in one of the interviews very early on. He said if Sebastian had gone out the back way, right? He would have been caught on camera. I thought you didn't have any cameras. I'm going to have to try and sort all these videos out. There's so many with Chris and Katie. <coughs> with Chris and Katie, I can't. I need to sit down. I just have one whole day well don't even do a live right i don't come on at all i sit there and do one marathon day of watching every video they've done and jotting down everything they've said and everything so because i'm sorry you've got a nice house like that and you've got no security cameras you know, security lights on your house, no cameras on your house. Flipping out my house. If I had a house, my house would be like Fort Knox. Really would. <coughs> I'd be able to follow someone right from my garden gate, right around my flipping garden house, into the back garden, into the kitchen area, into the lounge, up the stairs. I. I'd have so many cameras, you wouldn't be able to get anywhere without being seen on a camera. You can also delete... What's that? You can also delete all or parts of what your camera is recording. You, I just tried mine. Wow. Wow. That's technology today, though. So... But I'm seriously just thinking of getting these little cameras just to put in the corners of my living room. Right, and in, the, in my bedroom, in the corner, just to watch my cats while I'm not there for that one night. Right. So, if I only had the one cat, then I'd take the cat with me because he gets lonely. But he's got his, his two cats seeing out. They've got each other to keep company. They won't have me screaming at them to be quiet and stop the fighting. So, I didn't know that though, that you can delete all or parts. I, I knew you could delete all of it, but I didn't realise you could just delete parts of it. Exactly, you have them inside and outside. That would be me. That would be me. I remember when I lived in a house down in Birmingham, we had uh, security lights, right? And our front door was like on the side of the house, not on the front, it was like on the side. So the path came up the, towards the side of the house. And I remember saying to my husband at the time, you've got to reset the uh, set, uh the distancing on that camera. He said, right. I said, because 
flipping out. People across the road are coming out the front door and my cam our cam our lights have been set off. You've got it too high. We went, okay. So one night we went out and he's up there on the ladders. And he said to and he said, No, he said, walk round as though you go to come in the garden. So I walked up to the gate. But as I'm walking up to the gate, the light comes on. I went, No, no, can't have that because we have too many people walking past our house. We have a group of kids, we have everyone then walking past our house. I said it needs to be just so that as you come through the gate, that's when it comes on. So it's up there again, resetting it. He said, Can you do it again? So I've gone out and I've walked around, the, just around the, the corner a little bit, walked back, come through the gate, and the light come on. I went, perfect. Leave it at that now. But that, where am I from? I am from Birmingham, UK. So most people in the UK would call me Brummy. Right? But I live in Scotland. Because I am half Scottish. Because my mum was Scottish. So I live in Scotland. Well, I love it. I love it up here. So, go on, yes, I'm from Birmingham in the UK. That's okay, Victoria. Are you having trouble with my accent? Because I'm trying so hard to go slower and pronounce my words a little bit a lot better rather than use the slang. Yes. Me too. Are you from Birmingham or Scotland or what? The company told me I don't need to delete them. What was that again? The company told me I don't need to delete them because it will keep removing old videos by itself. We do upon them to better understand what your camera can do to help protect your home. Yeah, true. You know, I'm on about Jay because she's come, Jay come from and said me too. Birmingham! Oh, I've never brummy. Good to see you, Jay. I've never brummy. Oh my God. Never yeah, thought I'd get another brummy in here. In here. One's enough. But, you know, um, shall be, I, most people, what was that? Most people, at least in the US, they hear an accent and then ask me, ask about where you are from. I have a strong southern accent. Yeah. I get asked, I remember once, when my kids were little, we was off camping. We used to go camping with my kids, me and my husband. And I was walking down the field with my daughter. And my friends, some friends had come with us as well, with their tent. So I was walking down the field with my daughter and my friend's daughter. This lad, who I believe came from Liverpool, came running over to us. Originally, I'm a yam, oh no, not a yam yam, not a yam yam, oh no, you just upset me now saying that, <laughs> but anyway, we're walking down this field to, walk, to go to this shop, well, I think we needed some milk or something, and I had a shop on the side, so we was walking down, and this lad from Liverpool, come running up to us and said, are you from France? I went, pardon? He said, are you from France? Over in the EU? I went, I know where it is. I said, no, we're not. I thought, do we say in French? Yeah, do we say in French? <laughs> right? And I said, no, we're not. We're from Birmingham. Oh, I thought you was French. 
I thought, I think you need to go back and listen to some tapes of French people. Because we do not say nothing like the French. Do you like it in Birmingham? I can just about take three days now there. I get off the coach, that's one day. Spend one whole day there, then the third day I'm back on the coach or whatever coming home. I can't take it more than three days. <laughs> I've got I went down by coach once and I got off and it was about four or five o'clock in the morning. And I got my bags off this coach. And I picked my bags up and there's a row of taxis behind. And I'm holding my bags. And then all of a sudden I just let my bags go. Just dropped them. And I thought to myself, what the F am I doing here? Really? I, I felt like I said, uh, uh, don't go, coach driver. Let me pay again. Take me back home. Take me back to Scotland. The longest I've been down there was when my mum was ill. And I was down there for three weeks. Three, three weeks. And honest to God, it, it was talk, it was horrendous. Then I come back, got back, and I was home for about a week. And then I had to go back down again, but I went down with my with my daughter and her partner in the car. We drove down there. They booked into a hotel. I went and stayed at my sister's. We went to the funeral the next day and then come home after the funeral. We went round the shops in Birmingham, spent a couple of hours there and then come home. So we was there, it, we was there one day. One day we travelled down, the next day we travelled back. So I should really go down and visit my sister though. I don't care about the rest of my family. Just my sister, my nephew and my niece. That's all I care about. It may seem harsh, but that's the truth. I had to Google yum yum. <laughs> Jay, do you want to tell them where, where yum yum's from? <laughs> Um, but you know, um, like some people, some some of us from Birmingham get highly offended if we're called a yam yam. Go what? What? They call us a yam yam. But um, we we can laugh. You can. I'm glad you can see the funny side of being called a yam yam. And we can laugh about being called whatever. They call us lots of names from Birmingham, so don't worry. Some of them are really not nice to be called, but we get called them. Anyway, we are going to <laughs> watch this. Is it this one? Yeah, this is the one. I'm not going to watch it all, because it is like two hours. But I'm just starting. I'll show a little bit of the beginning of it. And then I'll skip forward to when that supervisor gets there. Right? Because I cannot believe that a police officer, when she called the police, he would not go in the water and it wasn't deep water he would not go in and get this item of clothing so they had to call this supervisor who came out but then they had to wait quite a while before she got there but let me put my headphones on otherwise you might get a backlash I'll, I'll tell you something, JJ. 
Jamie, I've got a granddaughter born and bred Scottish, right? He didn't want to get his little feet, feet these wet. <laughs> oh my god. I just shoved him in there. I could have fucking get in there. I really would have. He could have had me for this is in the water getting. They are, he wanted, from what I can understand, because the first one she did take down. She took it down, but then she put it up again. And from what I can understand from the first one, he wanted her, Terry, to go in and get the trousers. That's contaminating possible evidence. Oh, I love that view. Oh, my God. I hope that officers know, officer knows that women accentuated how useless he <laughs> Yep. We don't know where it was. We don't know where the trousers were found. And I'll, to be honest with you, that's not, not for my info. We don't need to know that. That's for the police and law enforcement, whatever. Right, but we're going to watch this. As I said, I'm... right, and what I'll do because you can't see anything at the moment anyway. So I'm just going to put a picture up. No, <laughs> where is it? Where is it? I'm going to put this one up, right, and then we just listen to it, because that's all you can see anyway, because it's just a black screen, because it's that dark where she is, there's so, let's just listen to some, it's not very, oh, yeah, all right, all right, love you, bye. Okay. And I'm waiting for the supervisor. That's been handled. There was no rain last night. It has not rained here for two days. That's a damn lie. <laughs> I was like, what? That ain't the truth. I was out last night. No, he didn't want to get his uniform back. <sighs> Miss Robin knows where I'm at. Yes, ma'am. The first one is, I started another one. Second, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I'm not shutting down until the supervisor gets here. Hi, Danny. And I can't slow this down. I can't do anything. What did TikTok say? The police are up there. I'll show you. Hold on. They're right there. That's I'll just show you, right there. I mean, I'll show you what you see. I'll show you what we see. Lamp up there. That is what we're seeing. I ain't gonna lie about. Just that. I have not found Sebastian. That's disgusting. Don't say that. Who said that? See, that's why rumors get started. I've not found a child. I've said I wasn't touching anything because this could be evidence. Because they match the pants. See, that's how rumors get started. That's why I don't do that chicken the thought right there because that bullshit. Jesus. I have got this speed. I never said I found the child. <sighs> Lord. <laughs> his pants aren't in the water because I don't even know if those are his pants. That's my point. I don't know if they are his pants. Jesus. See, that's what people run crap and they make things up and I don't like that. I don't know if they are. People get it right. I have been searching non stop and I'm not going to stop. Period. But when I come across pants that are. 
match the description to the T. But I've not come across any body at all. That's disgusting. And his grandmother is in here, and I would appreciate if people would have a little decency. Exactly. All I know is what. Okay, yeah, I'm waiting for this. Uh, I'm waiting for the. I know it so, took so long to get there. Yes, the video is burning because I'm. When the supervisor gets there, I'll take it. I'll take this thing off. I'll show you. I can't answer anything because I'm live. I'm live. I cannot answer anything. <sighs> Shit. Boy, she can't answer. All I can tell y'all is the pants match the description. That's it. And people keep. She has that. Though. She's very naive every day searching. I think she's got some scent dogs as well. So, I don't know what's happened. That's my internet again. Oh, it's a pain. Ask me and call, and I can't. I'm not giving my location. I'm going to wait until they, right there, those people right there, is law enforcement that won't come down here, and I'm waiting. I cannot touch them, and I'm not touching them. I'm, okay, I'm about to shut this damn thing down and start a whole new one. I want to remember because this is ridiculous. Okay. Wait, so his supervisor. Yeah, and I'm about to close Facebook. I'm closing all of it because I can't get anything. It's a pair of pants. I'm waiting for a lieutenant because the police officer will not come down here. And I said, I will not move. <laughs> Don't blame me, girl. Okay, I think I got one coming. I'm right here. Well, right, I'll go. I'm right here. Do you need my to help you? The shallower part. I'm glad you get there. You go. I'm glad you'll get wet. I mean, that's hey, I, you're doing what I did. I, I got my water boots on and I did the same thing. I see it takes women to do this. Okay, they're going to be right down here. Okay, you, if you have to walk around, walk yeah, I'll walk with you. Yeah. You'll see them. You won't miss them. You're gonna have to go around. Um, hold on. You're gonna have to go. You, you might want to go through there because I would. I don't, yeah. Yeah, they're gonna be on the other side, but they're not gonna be in the water. They're not in water at all. I'll go around there. You're gonna have to go around here. You won't miss them. I mean, I didn't miss them because I was like, whoa, and I stopped. Hold on. Yeah. I was still a baby then in the seventies. I want to go that way. I want to go this way. Oh, come on, I'm it. Every time I go live, this happens. It's like I have to go and give it a kick of it. Yeah. Do you see? You go now, go toward. Um... I swear to God. I'm phoning them today and they said, uh, What time do you normally go on? I said, About eight o'clock on the night, but I'm on all day. But every time I go and do a live, I get. Problems with the streaming. Oh, well, that's a busy time of the night. 
Rồi, chờ. Ra thì học mấy. Ngọ mèn. Sao? Come on, miss. Go to war down there. Go that way. And they're, they're, yeah, they're not in the creek. I want to tell you, they're not in the creek. Yeah, they're not in the creek. Hold on. I'm coming. Oh, you're fine. Come on. There we go. I do. No, I'll be fine, honey. I've been on this. Let's see. I hope I didn't go that far. Five. Yes, and I was like, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, the show gives you up. Because they're not in water. They're not in water at all. No, they're not over there. No, no, no. Hold on. It might be a little bit further. It might be further around. They're black. And they were striking here. We can see the tag. Hold on. Further down. I thought they were further down. Yeah, they're further down. Is there not in the water? Oh, no. I think they're right. I think you're right in that vicinity. You're right in the vicinity of them. The calf. Let me see if you can see it. There's the rock. Can we turn your brightness up? I'm not used to so there's the rock. We should be near them. Damn it. If we would have gotten the damn water, we would have. They're black and they have a white stripe and there's a tag to them. I was hoping it was too far off that picture so I could just hold on. That's right, you got. Oh. My internet is getting my head like that. Last night was good night. I didn't get no I didn't get kicked off my streaming app any at all last night. So last night was a good night. See the rocks. I do find them. It's just annoying that that guy would not come through the water. <laughs> right. That one officer. Um, apparently, from what unless it was a body there, I'm not sure about that. No, they didn't. Thank you. I, I asked the dog. Well, I did. I mean, I was gonna teach him the dog pad. Uh, there's a dead fish. Yeah, there's a dead fish. I don't think it went past that fish. Though. I think it's. I think we're close. I know we're close. Yeah, y'all don't time them out unless they're actually being smart buds. I sing a tag. There was a cement spot. I remember a damn cement spot. Hold on. I remember a cement. They were down. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think that we were this far. I don't think we were this far. Yeah, I think I walked off down that way after I seen them.
that look like this. There's gonna be like a rock, like that, and then pebbles. Yeah, because they're not in. That's them. And like I said, could they be something? I don't know. They might not be his, but you know what? They resemble the pants that he has. And that kid's been missing for 65 days, and we've been searching. I mean, does it look like that to you? Black pants with the white stripe? They look like black pants. I'm going to pick them up and see if they're kids' pants or what. They look kind of small. Thank you, because they, they look small. You see where I am? <sighs> Someone said, I noticed uh, in the chat when I was watching it earlier, I hope they go back the next day and search that area. You're joking, aren't you? I'm not going to go back and search that area. They didn't want to go there in the first place, the men digging. We took them away from their coffee and donuts. I'm not doing this because I've got my air fryer on. Hold on, I'll just go and turn my air fryer on. Every day you come across pants that resemble. Yeah. That. Off out there, down here it sucks. Deserve uh, some. Uh, I, I sprayed myself. I thank God. Sorry. Well, I've already picked seven off of me. Man, I like, I've already been picking two. Oh, no. You went back up. I don't know, but they look like kids. Get you back across the street. Yeah, I, I got to get no, no, that's the I don't really want to be, but I, I was like, I told him I wasn't not leaving. And I mean, not leaving. You know? <laughs> and I was like, no, I'll stay here all night. And I was, I was like, I'll camp. Well, listen, I would hope to God if it were my kid that, you know what, somebody would do it for mine. No, and that's my point. Hang on. I think there's so many kids that have been, there's so many that have gone missing. Well, it was, it was like this real big news because apparently when the car was shooting, it was kind of like, you know, the guy just went shooting. Like stop home thing, kind of stuff. Oh. You know? What? What are we going to call that? Let's see. Oh my. Just about. Glad to have you. Yeah. They got a little slickery. I know, I told you. Come on. Go down together. No, I won't do that to you. Yes, you do. It's naturally. No. no. That feels good. Oh, I appreciate you. My information. Right, we'll stop it there because there's, I don't think there's anything else. But I was just gobsmacked by the fact that that police officer would not go through the water and retrieve these, this item. 
I was a bit up, took back by some of the comments, like, did they find your body? And all that, like, I'm going, oh my God, you know what I mean? She said, the family are in the chat. The family watch this. Have decency for the family. You know what I mean? We've got to stay hopeful. And I'll tell you now, I've said this from day one. It will not be, unless she's a YouTuber. Unless you're a YouTuber and you're out there on boots on the ground, you it will not be a YouTuber that finds this lad. Will not. Right? And I can tell you now, even if a YouTuber did find that, find the lad, I can guarantee you now, the police wouldn't let them take the glory out of it. Oh, that would be sad. Yes, we have found Sebastian. You know what I mean? It wouldn't be, yes, uh, a YouTuber of the game, such and such, came across and found him. Or spotted him here and found him. It's like that photo. Right? She gave that photo to law enforcement and TBI on the Saturday. Right? Now, I did say she should have just sh said his name, but perhaps if she had said his name, if he was with that woman, which I don't think he was, if he was with that woman, then that woman would have been, oh my God, someone's recognised us. Perhaps I'm thinking, North Carolina, no one's going to recognise him down there. Uh, but it'll be someone from the public if anyone finds him. And they won't get the credit for it. So I'm telling you, if, if this comes out to be Sebastian in this photo, I would like to find out the woman's name who took the photo and give her the credit for finding him. Because if, if this is Sebastian, which I truly hope it is, think it, believe it is, right? Too many, too many uh, consistencies, too many things fall in line with him, right? And um, I would personally say, you know what? This is the woman who should be getting the credit for this. My stomach is so nervous. I have stopped, subbed that, but I must get must get some housework done. Okay, Shelby, get that housework done. I'll guess size 14 or medium. Exactly. If those trousers are small, then they're not going to be S S Sebastian's. I'd be highly, very surprised if he come back as to as Sebastian's. But there is too many coincidences with that photo. And when you look at these photos on here, and then you think back to that photo, and I can see that photo in my, just now look, thinking about it. And I think there's too many coincidences. There's like the eyebrow, the nostrils, the nose, the, sh the shadowing around his mouth, the indents. Little things like that. Yes, he had his head down. But have you ever thought that perhaps he's been told to keep his head down? But what I don't understand is if that is that lad is not Sebastian, right? If it's not Sebastian, why doesn't he come forward and say, Here I am, I am not Sebastian. I will talk to the FBI, talk to the TBI, talk to law enforcement, whoever. I am not Sebastian. But he hasn't. Some friend or someone who knows him has come, apparently who knows him, has come forward and said, Oh no, his name, his name is Dominic. And he's always getting recognised, uh, mistaken for Sebastian. How do you know that isn't the name you told him to? Go by. You know what I mean? He's probably he's probably been told 
if you ask, then I'm stomach ache. It's too many. I just hope and pray it is, Sebastian. I do. Because I want to be able to come on here. Because I swear, I'm ready. I'll turn my laptop on. I've got my, stream yard, my streaming app open. Because as soon as I hear anything that he's been found, and that is Sebastian, I am on here straight away. I will go live straight away. Right? But no, it'll probably come through when I'm in bed. So I'll probably find out in the morning. But I'd still come on in the morning if need be. And you're live. And if need be, I'd stay on all day until we got to cover it. Because this woman, she took the photo. And then she's getting criticised. Well, I did say, if that had been me, I just took the photo, called law enforcement, right, of that state, right, of that place, or even gone um, and followed them at a distance, but followed them to see where they went. Really, Karen? I've got two grandsons. One's been diagnosed. He was diagnosed quite early on. I think he was about four, three or four, when he was diagnosed as being on the spectrum. My other grandson, who's the same age, is not, they're both six, they're both born in the same year. Right, it's just now on the waiting list to be seen. I still, I still don't understand why they would send him away with Seth would, when Seth would have taken him. Exactly what? So I'm thinking, why? Right? Which still don't make sense, but I'm thinking. Perhaps she wasn't on board for him to go to Seps. Right? Perhaps she didn't want him to go to Seps. But sometime or never, she is going to be coming home. In which case, then, it will go to Seps. All I was doing was changing over the custodial part of it. Nothing else was changing. Right? The only thing different would be she, she'd get him on the weekends. Since day one... Hold on. Since day one, why did Chris contact Seth and say, don't get mad? Why didn't I ask Seth? Exactly. Exactly. No. I, I'd be mad, just for him saying that. Don't get mad. I'd be mad just for, for them saying that to me. Oh, then you're telling me my son's missing you, you're telling me not to get mad? Oh, flipping ringing neck. She knows it is her mother and grandmother living. Yeah, but I'm not sure about those photos of her mother, whether it is her... Or not, we need a side picture view of the mother. We need a side picture of him. Oh, yeah. Well, look at this, right? Just look at this. When he first met her, he made the choose between him and the cats. Because he's allergic to cats. You know what my answer would be? There's the door. Don't let it hit you on the way out. I've got two cats and they're my babies. Well, I call them my babies, but one is actually my grandson's. It's just that 
this cat kept going for his mother. Right, really big time attacking her. So I said, right, I'll have him here with me. You know what I mean? Because I've already got Bob. Uh, I had Toby, his brother. So having it, having him here was no problem. So I've got the two brothers together now. But, um, so she gave up her cat for him. Oh, don't worry about Sebastian loving cats. We'll just get rid of them. Then they get rid of the snakes because they can have the time and patience to work with Sebastian to look after the snake. Oh, no, we're not going to work with you. There's the snake. You may, you take care of it. All right? They are. They're my babies. They snuggle on my bed on the night time at the bottom. The other night, I kept hitting one on the head with my foot. He didn't move him. He just lay there. Until I realised it was the cat I was hitting. Right? But, um, she she chose that. So then they get rid of the snakes. So there's another thing he loved and they got rid of. Chris didn't want Sebastian to be happy at all. He didn't. And to be honest with you, Seth, um, sorry, Seth, <coughs> not you. Chris seems like the guy that will, uh, oh, he's got autism. That's okay. Just like any other child. They understand. No, you can't do that. You can't. Right. You can't treat them like any other stuff. Exactly. Now, Sebastian's gone missing and he loves his puppies. So he hasn't even got his puppies with him. What was that one? I think CP is going to frame KP and make a deal with cops as soon as evidence of foul play is revealed. Oh, we know. We've said this. We said CP will throw her under the bus. He'll throw her under the bus. But then again, if he isn't involved in it, then why why would you stick uh, back someone up? Unless she's got something on him. And that's the only reason he's backing her up. Oh, it's just that my cat is going on. So, I just don't understand her thinking. There's no way. I, I've i always said my kids and my grandchildren come first. My my two kids now, once, well, hold on. <laughs> 34 and one is 32. But they're my babies. And anyone... Anyone steps, puts one foot wrong with them, and I'm I'm there, right? And now they both got children of their own, and I swear to God, you even look at my child, my grandchild, the wrong way, and you'll be six foot under. So, where, where was it the other week? I was somewhere with my one grandson. And he was doing something. And I had to pull him up about it. Not my grandson. I had to pull this person up about it because they're saying something. And I go, oh, that was it. No, it wasn't a, the other week. It was a while ago. I used to take him to a place called Soft Play. It's a soft Play place. I hate that word, soft play. Those two words put the fear of red into me. Are we going to do a soft play today, Mum? <laughs> Are we? <laughs> really? Because I can guarantee you, we go there with my one grandson, who I have on the weekends, not every weekend, just every second weekend, someone is going to complain. Because it's very boisterous, very loud. And it's like a little, 
is like a a, a baby ball. You think of a ball, think of a miniature ball. I mean, a real ball with the horns. He just hasn't got the horns. But then again, he is a devil, a little devil. So probably has got the horns, right? He's a little mini ball. Because when he comes charging, running at you, oh my God, he'll knock you flying. Right? So, I would think someone in the de department had wired his office. Well, yeah, exactly. You keep them in the boot of the cars, especially in that area where they work. You know what I mean? I wonder if CPLKP went too far for discipline and left marks on him to the point that he couldn't go to school or anywhere else because they would catch a CPS case or worse, and sent him out and sent him away. Hmm. I don't know. You could say, perhaps Katie hid him with someone, right? And um, so that Chris couldn't hurt him no more. Perhaps she did have some motherly feelings and motherly love for Sebastian. But then again, why didn't she just give him to death? It doesn't make sense by hiding him. This is what I'm saying. It just does not make sense. Well, I'm sorry. I think he's looking for his next wife. I really do. If you heard that interview with Terry Lynn, the other night, the way he was, oh, well, we really should meet up in person. Excuse me, you're lying in bed. Where's your wife? Where's your wife? I must admit, since hearing that video, listening to him, how he went off on the women the other day on that uh, web, web sleuths, how he's like a raging bull from the moment he went up on that panel. Right? And then hearing him on Terry Lynn's, which was done in March, Perhaps he just put it out now. Perhaps he hadn't put it out before. I don't know. And then hearing him. And uh, I'm thinking, hold on. You sleep in the same bed as your wife, but you're talking like this to another woman on a phone. Mm, not if you had bruises. True, and you due to have him the following weekend, wasn't he? But then again, bruises, depending on what, like, what the bruises were, right, you could probably say, well, yeah, he fell over, he bumped himself, he's done this, he's done that, because my grandson is always coming out with bruises. And I think I'm looking at myself, where'd you get that bruise from? And he can't tell me. He can't tell me. He doesn't remember. Right? So when I see his mum or, or my son, his dad, I say, you seen that bruise on the back of his leg? Yep. He done that at school the other day. Oh, uh, okay. You know what I mean? They know. But my grandson can't, won't always tell me. So... I don't know, it's just so annoying because there's so much going on around. There's so much BS coming out in this case. It's unbelievable. Some days my head is like spinning, literally spinning because I don't know what the hell is going on. CP might have told Sebastian we would. Kind. You know what? I said something similar the other day. Like, 
he knew he wouldn't tell his dad what was going on at home, right? He just just said, like, I don't want to go back home. And when asked why, he wouldn't answer. He wouldn't give him a, a clear, absolute answer. And I said, has anyone thought like you? Perhaps he's been told by Chris, if you tell your dad, your mum will catch it. Your mum's going to catch it. Now, okay, Chris hasn't been in that home for the month of February. But there's nothing worse than someone giving a verbal threat over a phone call. You wait till I get home. Right? Just you wait. Right? That lad then is living in fear every day of CP walking through that door. So, if it's not Sebastian, the mother would be upset. If not, if it's not Sebastian, the mother would be upset. Her son's pictures. Exactly. Where's the mother for this child that's in this picture? Why isn't she screaming? What the hell are you doing with my putting my son's picture all over YouTube? You know what I mean? But apparently, I understand there's been several sightings of him, of that lad, or several sightings, possible sightings of Sebastian around that area. So, uh, because you've got how many in one group? 35k, right? And you've got 9, 18 or some k in another group, another 7k in another group. You're telling me this that boy's face is not being plastered all over Facebook, all over Twitter, all over TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. His place is everywhere you're telling me someone has not seen that child's face pop up on their screen go oh that's dominic i'm gonna tell his mom and i'd be what the hell is going on you know what i mean i would not be happy if it was my son being plastered all over these channels i would not be But neither the mother or that lad have come forward. It's just someone who knows the lad has come forward and said his name is Dominic. He's all mixed up, confused with Sebastian. Sorry, that isn't proof to me. That is not proof that is not Sebastian. Proof is telling law enforcement. Speaking to the mother, speaking to the lad, checking his birth certificate, getting his DNA. You know what I mean? Doing all that first, and then FBI or TBI or law enforcement actually coming out saying, look, stop posting out, it's not Sebastian. Sorry. Sorry, Amy. I am why sorry, it's my accent. I'm going I'm talking a bit too quick again. What I'm saying is if this was my child with all the people in these groups and not just in the groups on their own Facebook pages as well. Who are sharing it on their own Facebook pages, right? You're telling me this mother has not been informed about her son's picture being plastered all over every social network there is. Do you know one? I think... Oh, sorry. Sorry. But I still talk a bit slower anyway because it's... 
behave. No, I don't understand their behaviours, but I wish I could. I wish I was a behaviour analyst. But uh, what us YouTubers go by is the words. It's the words when we listen to them talk. Right? And when they done their interview after interview after interview, they kept changing their story. And as for the domestic violence advocate, um, let's think. Would she not have to agree first? Would she not have to be? It's a bit like being alcoholic or drug addict. Right? Don't you have to, the first step for getting clean is to admit you're an alcoholic. Yeah? That's the first step. So the first step is for her to step forward and say, I'm being abused. Then they can help. I call centre for missing and exploited children. Never call out to victim. The perpetrator may... Exactly. Yes. Yeah. That's what someone else said the other night when this picture first came out the few days ago now. By putting that picture up on this Facebook pages, we now possibly could have put this lad, if it is Sebastian, in danger. But then again, if they're moving around a lot, they could be in a camper. There was a camper van in that car park. And if you're in a camper van, you're moving around all the time. And there's, USA is a big country. Big country, bigger than the UK. I tell you now, you could, you could, if you wanted to disappear in the UK, you could, right? But um, if they're in a camper bank and they're moving around, uh, do you know what? I watch a lot of programs, a lot of FBI programs and FBI like uh, true stories and all this like thing, other podcasts, and they say the most dangerous time for a, a woman who's a DV victim is when she go, tries to move to go to leave that home. And I'm thinking, I see, and I think, wow. Well, why tell him? Why don't she just, when he's out, if she's got the freedom to come in and go, right? Say she can go to the shops or still go somewhere, and she's got that freedom of moving around, right? Why doesn't she, when he's gone out somewhere, don't even pack a bag. Don't even pack a bag. Just get your bag, your shoulder bag, your purse, your phone. Grab your kids and go. Right, SG. But I understand it's not easy for... I, I run a group for families. Right? Okay, I'll tell you where I am. I'm in Dundee. Dundee, Scotland, and I run a group for families who are struggling, right? I started it back in 2020. And we arrange Christmas parcels, Christmas bags for the children. Uh, Easter things, anything. Or we, we put items on there for nothing, like items of clothing, uh, high chairs, baby stuff. Anything we put on there, we don't sell, we give it away for nothing, right? And I remember when I first started the group up, a woman got in touch with me. 
I put it up as so they could post anonymously as well, if they wanted to. Because there are women out there who are in hiding from a violent partner. Not just women, there's men as well. Right? So I would say, yes, they can post anonymously because they may not want people to know where they live. So anyway, this young mother come through to me and she said, um, she was getting out of a domestic violence situation. I said, sweetheart, if you need to get out, get a taxi now, I will email you my address. You can come here. Right? Luckily, she got back to me. She said, I'm in a taxi. And some organisation was helping her. I went, that's good. As long as you know about that home. She said, no, I got out while he was out. While he was out somewhere, I just got my kids around phone this number up, they came out and picked her up from that house straight away. And I thought, thank God for that. Otherwise, I, I was just going to say, get a taxi. Here's my address. Come here. Because believe me, close to getting my flat, he's going to have to steamroll me over because I will knock 10 tons of Sheet, sheet, sheet out of him. He's not getting near anyone. I may be in my fifties, but I don't care. I still go. I still stand up to a man. Right? I don't let no one talk to me or talk down to me. No one. But she did get out, and then she got in touch with me and said she got a flat, and it was just up the road from where I was living, where I live, and she needed. She was looking for items for the baby, like a, a, trav, a cart or whatever. And I said, we've got a travel cart. Would that be of any help? So we had a travel cart got given to her. She had blankets given to her, toys given to her, all cleaned. Everything was cleaned. Nothing was damaged. You know, broken toys. It was all perfect working toys. And um, we had some clothes for them. And we got all this sorted out for her to, so she could move into this flat. And we have an uh, organisation here in Dundee that help you with furniture. So she was able to get away from him. Now, if she comes to, if, she, if she's still on my page, I don't know. Um, but I said, if you want to start, if you come on my page, come through it anonymously so that he can't see you. You know what I mean? Put any picture up. As long as they've got a picture up on their profile, we don't care. The name could be Santa Claus. We don't care. As long as there's a picture on their profile. Right? So that's what she did. She did just put a picture up. I can't remember what it was now. I'm going back, what, four years now? And um, we used to help her out at Christmas time and Easter time. But there is... So many women out there, and as I said, it's not just women, there are men. Mm, I think they would have done that already, Karen. I'm sh well, I hope they have. I should hope they are keeping an eye on his, on you, if there's any unusual spending. But I can't understand what mother leaves or well, sitting in an interview and say, the door is always open. We're waiting for you to come back home. Bubba, just come back home. The door's open. And then, in the next breath, oh, she's going down to Mississippi to live in a five-wheeler. What was her reasoning? Uh, because her husband was going back to work. So, uh, I was getting threats. And you think by living in a five-wheeler, the threats are going to stop? You're not getting threats by YouTubers. And someone said, as well, I heard it on a YouTube channel, I can't remember which one. They said, 
there's no one standing outside your house. Like, there's a couple of cases. Like, look at Ben Hill Road, Summer Moon. No, it's outside their driveway, at the bottom of their driveway. These YouTubers were shouting and ranting and everything. And what was that other one where the young girl went missing, where the boyfriend killed her? I can't think of her name. Those outside his parents' home, where is she? Where did he leave her? And all this lot. So, well, this is the thing happening with Katie. There's no one standing outside her house, ranting and shouting, shouting and raving at her. No one. Right? She could go to the shops around there, or if she don't want to do that, go shopping online, like I do. She left a note on the door for Sebastian. Sebastian, sorry, we're not here. F off. You know what I mean? What use is a note? How's he going to be out or so, we're down in Mississippi? How the hell is he going to get to Mississippi? And so I'm sure JLR will be seeing a note or something on the door as he's but he hasn't been down there for ages. And I'm sure that other YouTuber who lives in the area who did a drive around in the daytime and on the night time, I'm sure she would have seen a note on the door. There's no note on the door. Right, there's no note. I don't understand how she can stop, live down there, and not be at home. But I'll tell you something else what I think is that. This is just my opinion, everyone. My opinion. I think she goes down there because he doesn't trust her. Because of the rumours that she was having an affair with the neighbour. Or oh, a neighbour. I think that's why she goes down there. Because he's telling her to be down there. He's, he's, he's a control freak. He's not going to want her being at home all on her own. He's going to want her where he can see her. And at the moment, no one has seen Hyde or Herbert since she's done that interview. Which is, what, getting on for two weeks now? It's a while ago she did that interview. And no one's seen her. Apart from that one little message she put on Facebook about the picture. But Chris could have done that. Chris could have put that up. So that's not proof of anything to me. Hi, Gigi. Right? By putting a post up, that doesn't tell me, yeah, that person's alive. Or that person's okay. Doesn't mean nothing. So... Exactly. But... You know what? If she is under his control, right? He can do whatever he wants. Yeah? Perhaps some, she did have something to do with Sebastian going missing. Right? And that's what he's got on her. And he's saying, you know what? You say anything about me talking to other women. You moan about me talking to another woman. I'll drop you right in it. The marriage is already on the rocks. And yes, he was falling around. Wasn't, he, wasn't there some woman at um, some restaurant or a bar that he used to go to? 
But that's just one. It's just one sick pervy. He's not perv. He's not pervy. He's a perv. Hold on. Right, he's, he's vile. I'm his kick guard. So, oh, how she can even, how she even, she knew what he was like when she met him because of what he put Nina through. So why on earth would she stay with someone like that? Was she that was she that desperate? Because no. Nah. Sorry, no. Nah. I don't understand why she got with him. He had control of her from day one, especially when he turned around and said it's either the cats or me. What? Sorry, let's go. Feck off. And you didn't want Sebastian. You know what I mean? Perhaps he was more scared about Sebastian telling his dad. But I don't think, I think he's probably told Sebastian, don't get telling your dad. Don't you get telling your dad what goes on in this house while, you know what I mean, while I'm here. She's only 33 years old. A leopard doesn't change its spots. A leopard. Do tigers have, do tigers have, no. Oh, tigers have stripes, yeah. Tigers don't change the stripes, no. I'm sorry, but I'm 58, right? But if I was 33, and I've only been married, what, two years? I understand. So, if I was in my 30s again, and single, and some guy, I met some guy, and I found out that he'd been married four times. I'd be going, bye. I'd be waving bye-bye, I'd -bye, say going out the door. You know what I mean? I don't need that. I do. I do. I think he suffered a lot worse. Physical and verbal. Right? And I think the verbal is more da a lot worse because physical wounds heal, yeah? But verbally, it stays in your head forever. So I think he's suffered a lot worse than what he said, Chris has actually said. Oh, I miss this one here. All the answers lie. Well, yes, the answers do lie with her. You know what I mean? Because she was the last one to see him, last one apparently to speak to him. Right? She should be the one talking, not Chris. We don't know if they have spoke to his ex-wives. Yeah, see, yeah, I think they're in with the police. I do. But you can't get in with TBI, surely. But then again, obviously Seth thinks different because he wants FBI. Financial abuse too, yep. 
Exactly. Walking on eggshells to make S Sebastian behave. Oh, I know that feeling. Not pers not in my own marriage that I had. Right. But I I know how it feels to walk on eggshells. That's all I'll say. Right. And But you see the thing is when it comes to me, I don't give a hoot. I'll say what I want, do what I want. But when it involves someone else, then I feel like I'm walking on eggshells because I'm thinking I've got to be careful what I say here because I don't want to upset this person. That sort of thing. Right? Because I can be out there. I had a t-shirt given given to me for my birthday and it says, um, actually, I'm wearing it today. And it's one of those sayings and it says, I'm not responsible for what my, what the fuck that? Let's get this. So I've got like dungaree things on. I've got to get the straps down. I'm not responsible for for what? What was it? I'm not responsible responsible for what my face does when you when you talk. Because I sit there and some people are talking and I'm thinking you're talking a load of BS. And I give them the side eye. I literally roll my eyes constantly. I lose count. I don't even think I realise I'm doing it no more because I do it that often. Because the, people, the crap I hear people say in person, i am just literally wrong my eyes and did they really say that? But now I've got to that age, like you hit 40 and you think, you know what, I can give a hoot what people think. Yep. But when you hit 50, it's like, you know what, I don't just not give a hoot what people think. I don't give two F's what people think or what people say because I can't be having all that drama. I can't. They used to, my family used to say I was the one brought, who brought the drama into it, the family. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I was the one who would openly speak up about something if I didn't like what I was hearing. Yes. I wasn't scared. I wasn't going to sit there and say, hold on, hold on. No, I'll let that go. No, I was, hold on. What do you think you're saying? Sort of thing. No, I can't even be asked to do that. I let my face say it. I let my face say it. No. So... But what I was going to say some earlier, uh, I don't know if she's still in chat, Jay. I think her name is, I think it was Jay, he's from Birmingham. Let's have a look. Right back, where is he? Where is it? <laughs> Jay, she's from Birmingham, where I'm originally from. And... I've got a granddaughter, born and bred Scottish, right? But oh my God, you want to hear her when she talks. She's a mixture of the Dundonian, like the Scottish talk, Dundonian slang, and the Brummie slang. And someone's, my son was talking to someone at his work about it. And I said, how does that go when you try, when she talks? He said, very hard. Very hard. Because she can switch from being the Brummie accent to the Scottish accent. And it's so confusing. Well, I'm just stuck on the Brummie accent. My daughter, she's put picked up the Glasgow accent because of her partner, right? My son, he's still got the Brummie accent. 
You can use no Dungeonian slang. But um occasionally you might do, but otherwise no, you don't. It's so what's that? It's so traumatizing living with a man like that, especially when you have children with them. I finally escaped escaped and left my house behind. from the beginning it's literally starting from all over from the beginning getting somewhere to live getting the furniture making sure you got money to feed feed yourself and pay the rent and everything it's not easy but glad you've done it glad you've done it Karen so Oh, but no, this, she needs to, she needs to come forward and talk to law enforcement. Even if she's got nothing to do with this, come forward and say, I need help. I'm in a domestic violence relationship. I need to get out of here. You know what I mean? Even if she's got nothing to do with Sebastian, just get the help she needs to get away from him. Some people say she's as bad as him. I don't know. I really don't know. That first, well, not the first interview, but the first interviews they did with the newsreel, Right, that first interview where she was rocking back and forth. I think she was t going on a story, a script. But there's times in that interview where she kind of let it slip, slip, right? But then the one thing that got me in that interview was right at the beginning. They both done it. They both did this. Duper's delight. They both did it. They both gave that little smile when you're not supposed to have a smile. And I thought, did I just see things? And it took me about three or four times to watch that interview to see that. Because I'm not watching the body language, I'm listening to the words. And one day, I, I literally knew it word for word. So I was watching her face. And as she turned away to look at him, when they said, when they asked her her first question, and she had the tissue, she turned around to look at him and she gave her a little smile. And then he took over the conversation. And then... In the same interview, he, he does the same thing. She says, so he, he was talking about Sebastian or something, and he gave out a, a smile at the end. And um, so that's what makes me think, is she part of it? If I hadn't seen that duper's delight by her, I'd seriously say she isn't part of this. Because she could be sitting there in fear of her life, thinking, I've got to get this right, I've got to get this right, I've got to say what I've got to say, I've got to get it right, I can't miss, mess up. She's sitting right there, I've got to keep my, I've got to keep it, the facts straight, I've got to get that st the script out there, I've got to say what I've got, I've got to say what I've been told to say, you know what I mean? And I would have believed her. Yeah. I would have believed that she had nothing to do with Sebastian going missing. If it wasn't for that. It's just that one little thing that suddenly, boom, changed my mind about her totally. Rocking back and forth. It's like she's trying to think to herself, I've got to get this straight. I've got to remember what he's saying. And 
I think they had a little thing where he's probably said, if you forget what to say, just look at me. And that's what she kept doing. She kept looking over at him and then he would take over. Because she was forgetting what she had to say. Look at that one interview. Um, I can't remember it was a, with another YouTuber. And she sat there with him. And I was at the house and she went, I got in the car and I was driving around. And then he gave this little cough. <laughs> and then she got a bit flustered. And you could see her hands on the car again. And we made a, a three-way phone call. Right? said, but I was driving around. And I went up by the school. But he. And then stopped. And I'm thinking, but he what? I went to nursing school at the AA, it was great day, having a strong faith in God, all things are way to go. I saw KP Alba. Yes, I saw that Alba. Yeah, it's like you shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have said that. Yep, I saw that Alba. When CP was caught off guard by a question that went off script on web sleeps. And Terry Lee, he got quiet. Yeah. He's very good at not answering a question. He's very good at talking around the answer. Not actually giving you the answer, but talking around it. You know what I mean? I think some of these, I know YouTubers say they've got to be nice. They've got to be respectful. But I'm sorry, in that last interview, he done, he was not nice. He was not respectful. And as the, what's the name, host, I just cut him off. I just kicked him out. Full stop. No ifs, no buts, you're gone. Right? Because he didn't need to come up and be that hostile with them. He really didn't. Right? And then he said, I can see what everyone was writing in chat. So then she's saying, everyone, be nice. If anyone's not being nice, just tie my mouth or whatever. You know what I mean? No, he's not being nice. So why should, and he's not being nice to anyone in chat. So why should they be nice back to him? You know what I mean? I have to say, I'm sorry, say, uh, Chris, but you're not being nice either. So why... Why should they be nice? You you coming here like a raging bull, ranting and raving, wanting this done, wanting that done. You wanting me to shut down the um, chat, right? You wanting me to tell everyone to be respectful to you? No. Respect comes two ways. You ask. You know what I mean? If you're respectful to me, I'll be the nicest person on earth. But you piss me off just once. Just once. And you know you have. Who waits out guys to give an interview for your missing soul? You know what? I think they should have gone up with Law enforcement, TBI, the, se the second day, when they're doing that first interview they've done, the second day they was there with me, they should have been there with them and doing, stood there by their sides. Right? I can understand them not giving any interviews the first week because law enforcement has said, look, don't do any interviews. Yeah, but you notice in that interview, it was, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, oh, yes, ma'am, oh, was you talking to me, sorry, ma'am, oh, noisy, noisy, because if he'd have been anything like he was in any of the other interviews, right, she would have wiped the 
flow with him. Katie Simgog, after that first interview, a gig, on every interview after that, she seems totally doped up. Like she's on some sort of medication. Which, if you've lost your son, your son's gone missing. I can understand that. I will be in hysterical if my child had gone missing. But I swear to God, no law enforcement, no TBI, no one would just stop me leaving that house and going looking for him. No one. But this case now where people are saying perhaps he has been hidden somewhere, someone else has got him, reminds me of a case we had in, in the UK where she got her husband's uncle to pick up her eldest daughter from school and take her back to his. Why? And to keep her away from the window so that no one would see her, he had a rope tied to her so she could only go certain distances. And the plan was he was to pick the daughter up, the her daughter up from school, take him back to hers. And she was gonna meet him then at ease with the other two children, or however many children she had, younger children, right? But apparently her husband did not go into work that day. So she couldn't get out of the house without him seeing. Because he would be gone, where are you going? I'll come with you. You know what I mean? And they found her a few weeks later, hide, being hidden under a bed. A uh, duvet bed. Hold on, my flipping cats. Up to summer. Right. And uh, they was hiding under a, so he had her hiding under a bed. She went to prison for it. And that guy who had her has now died. But yeah, I'd like to know if they've got a storage unit. And apparently, just across the road from where they are staying, I don't know how close, but some of them said it's very close. There is a storage unit place. Someone said that. They said, has they checked out that storage unit company? It's literally across the road from where Yogi Bear Caravan Park is, trailer park is. Right? Don't know. I don't know if it's directly across or just up the road, whatever. But it's not far. And this woman said, have they checked the storage unit that is down there? They've got storage units. Have they checked it? Another way of questioning is to ask CP and or KP to recount events in reverse. They have the script memorised in order from beginning. Ooh, that would be interesting to hear that, wouldn't it? Like playing some backwards. Ooh, I'd like to see, but we won't get to see. Like, you know when you make a missing per person report, right? They take a statement of you. When you. Please come to your home about anything. They always have a statement of you. I'd like to see that statement she first made. But I'm not going to see that because I won't give the PI the information she asked for, which was that, the statements and all that lot. I won't give it her because apparently she was told it was a um, criminal investigation. And then they recounted that and said, it isn't a criminal investigation. She just worded it wrong. Uh, what part did she word wrong? Criminal or investigation? Hmm. And then Chris slipped up the other day in that interview when Seth was on it. It is a great idea, isn't it? Right? I might mention it to another YouTube. Next time you have any of them on there, 
get them to recount, tell their story backwards from when the police first got there right back to when you got up in the morning, you went to bed, you, you fell asleep, you went, got up, out of bed, you, you're down the stairs, you're sitting in the living room, Sebastian's in his bedroom, you've heard this noise. Yeah, I'd love that to do. Yeah, that would be, oh, Christ. That is one way of getting on, isn't it? Because, as you said, they know it in you know, all that. That's why he can, that's why he's allowing her now to talk on her own, on her own, on an interview. But she was looking at notes. Right, so she did have notes to look at. But oh my God, I would love to hear that. CP, KP, would you like to come on my show, please? <laughs> CP, <laughs> they won't come on my show, it's not big enough. I wouldn't have them on my show even if I was big enough. CP will not leave KP alone, CP is too conc Yes, CP does not want to give KP any chance to escape because KP may tell truth. But you know what? She had the chance that time when her and Seth was called into the TBI office. Why? While he was at work, she come home, and they got them both up there in the office, and that's where they showed him proof of life, of Sebastian walking out of the steakhouse. She could have said something then, and she didn't. Chris was at work. If she was back at the house, she was called in to buy TBI into their office along with Seth. She could have said something then. But she won't. Because he's got too much, so, he's got something over her so big that she's doing anything she has to now. And I think it was something that happened. She, he's, he's got something on her that happened even before Sebastian went missing. Why? Because, for God's sake, she's ex navy so is he. She's black belting certain martial arts. I don't know if he is. She could look after herself if she needs to. I heard that. I heard that. CP's driving KP's car back and forth to work. I wonder if he takes the keys for the truck so she can't live. Exactly. This is why someone, they need an intervention. Someone needs to get her out of there. They really do, because he's got her under her done right now. She can't breathe. And KP, if you ever listen to this video, run. Do what you're telling your son to do. Run. If you can't go out the door, open a flipping window and climb out. He's at work. Get away from there. So, run to another caravan. Ask him for the use of a phone. Phone the police to get help. But get away from him. Because the longer this goes on, more and more people are worried about her at the moment. Because we've not heard or seen of her. She may have been told by someone, don't do no more interviews. Don't, don't go on Facebook. But she was on Facebook the other day, so that's going out the window, isn't it? But it will definitely throw her under the bus. So, Katie, if you're listening to this, he's going to throw you under the bus. CP is splitting in his daughter's lip. Yeah. She said she saw CP hit Sebastian in, in face. Yeah, I can well believe that. She caught him trying to give her son, her son's bed, to a neighbour. Mattress in CP in KP's garage. So many... Yeah, yeah. 
But you know what? I think that mattress was in that garage because if you look at their garages, they've got like one door garage, then a two door garage. I think that one door garage is where the mattress was. And I think, I seriously think that sometimes if he was having a meltdown because he's had sensory overload like he did on Sunday, he wasn't listening to her, he, he wasn't having none of it, they've put him in the garage with just a mattress so he could sleep on that. You know what I mean? Did they have the dogs go over that mattress? So, I don't think that mattress was for his daughter's bedroom. Oh, yeah, she is still terrified of him. She is still terrified. She is so scared of him. She is so scared that she's going to lose her daughter to him, back to him. And I, I tell you now, I'll be watching her case even when this one, if he finds Sebastian, right, I'll be watching that case. I'll even email her. And say, look, keep us informed what's going on. Because we can't let CP get your daughter. We can't. What's that one? KP may confide in a close friend, but she doesn't have any. Wouldn't surprise me if KP allegedly commits suicide or has deadly accident. I do believe she's in imminent danger. If Sebastian comes back, she's in imminent danger now. I believe. That's my opinion now. Because the walls are closing in. The walls are closing in. And Chris can't, can't keep her hidden forever. We need to make sure she's okay. They need someone from the domestic violence team, whatever, whoever, to go with law enforcement and check on her. They will pick up any signals off her. If she's giving any signals out that there's something not right, they will see it. Yeah, I am. I'm worried about her safety at the moment. Yes, I really am. Because she's gone quiet. She's gone quiet. The only thing she said was, she's seen that photograph. It looks she she believes it could be could be him, but not hundred percent sure or something like that. And they're waiting on confirmation. Nina needs to move her custody case to. Um, yes. Yes, and some, she has been told about that now, so she may do that, she may do that. The person who would know what's going on is Trev Time, but did you see what Trev Time's doing? Trev Time is giving up his YouTube channel. He is working, still going to be working with children and missing people, but not necessarily on YouTube like he does at the moment. It'll be more of an advocacy forum. There's another link he's giving out where people can sign up. And you can sign up for free, or there are uh, three levels of payments. I've signed up for free. Right? So... But he's the one who know what's going on. When Nina saw he got a text from a woman, CP, said she was a lesbian and laughed in her face. Well, look what he said to Sebastian's grandmother about Sebastian. Called him a P. P. You know, how dare he? How dare he? He's homophobic. And all that is everything you can name. He is that. 
I don't think there's enough hours in the day for me to tell you everything. I every name I would call him. There isn't because it's just too. Oh God! I just want to put my fist through the screen and smack the well punch the living daylight out of him. That's how angry he makes me. When I play any of his videos, um, I feel physically sick just having um, to listen to his voice. So that's why I skip big chunks of it. Because I'm thinking, oh, I can't, I can't listen to this. But I'll do it so that we can discuss it. Pure, pure evil is two words, yeah. Sum it all up in two words. Sum, sum. CP up in two words, pure evil. He is that. And as as I say, we no one's heard of her since she's done that interview. Apart from that one comment she put up on Facebook, I don't think she's put any other comments up. I don't know if anyone's heard of her. We've not heard of her. Hmm. I didn't like the way he leaned into uh, Seth that time. And how he, he, he literally sort of accused, is making out that Seth had set him up at that vigil when he turned up just before the vigil started. It's like, yeah, and there's all these little, all these little friends all snapping photos. Uh, they didn't even know you was going to be there, uh, CP. So it wasn't a setup. Chris is a good man and dad. Seth, Seth needs to answer some questions. Okay. Is CP really has friends in local law enforcement. If law enforcement will really cover boys. Oh. I pray. I don't know. You do have cases where law enforcement do cover. And then they've been charged as well for him doing and all that law. So I don't know. I hope not. I hope to God law enforcement wouldn't cover. I said the other week, apparently they need a new... captain or whatever it is they have a new sheriff yeah and they need one who's got the cojones to stand up to that family and say you know what I don't care how much money you donate to us at Christmas or how much money you donate towards uh, widows police widows foundation or whatever I don't care you're going down that's what they need. <coughs> because that, I think a lot of this law enforcement in small towns comes down to money. Like, I know, I don't know, well, I say I know, I don't know. But do they have, do the law enforcement do, uh, like, Christmas collections? Right? Do they go around? Yeah, now she was awful, Seth. She was awful, Seth. And all of a sudden, she has this conversation with Chris and Katie, and she's all against Seth. I do know of law enforcement in Bolingbrook and... <coughs> yeah, but that was one of their own, wasn't it? It's like they've got a cover for one of their own, but they shouldn't. What we're saying is, would they cover for CP? He's got one of theirs. He's not law enforcement. So, would they cover for him? 
and if the family are giving big donations out at Christmas time or whatever, then they might do. Yep. Money speaks volumes. It sure does. Sure does. And I remember I was watching something about another... Oh, what was it? Uh, Flint. Somewhere called Flint. And it's the, got the highest crime level and drug use and everything there. I think it was Flint somewhere. Right? And there was a program about it. And... <laughs> yeah. I mean, we know how good CP is at blackmailing, don't we? It's like, when he come on that night, and he had to go at Seth, you've said too many things out there, you put too much out there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He mentioned about this uh, SA because you was blackmailing him. You said, if I was to tell everyone, what your son is, then they will they will not want to help look for you for you because apparently Seth was making them look stupid or something because of the searches he was doing. So Chris has said something like, "If you don't stop the searching searches, then I will tell everyone what your son is, and then when they find that out, they won't want to help." So you know what? Seth had had enough. Enough. And that's when he said, you push the buttons once too often. I warned you. And that's when he said what he did. The photo on the bottom left in the water looks like the photo currently about. Yeah, hold on, I'll just take that off a minute and then we'll have a look. I'll see which one you mean. This one here. Or that one. Copy that one. Yeah, that's left. No, that's right to me. Yeah, it's left. Yeah. Right? So, Steph is the only parent who has been going above and beyond searching for Sebastian. He went on back, went on back to back interviews, was injured on a search. Exactly. And then you got people saying, did you notice how he wasn't rubbing his shoulder and everything? He hasn't got a bad shoulder. Go away. Go away. I'm sure CP and his family have stuff or will make up stuff on certain or on certain local law enforcement. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they have. What was the end result of CP's mother parked at the market store, market near Sebastian School that month? Wow. Oh, that was by uh, Ken Davis. Now, I did do some research, and I need to send off all the information. I need to send it off, and I need to pay for it. I keep forgetting, to be honest. It's not a lot, but I'm just trying to get this information just to make sure that the Ken Davis is still living in that area because someone said they found a Ken Davis that lived in White Town or White House, something like 25 minutes away. Well, I found that, that Ken Davis and it's Ken Davis Jr. Right? But I also found another Ken Davis who lived in Hendersonville, right? And it said 20 minutes, but I don't even think it would be 20 minutes away from where they lived. Right? So, but they have tracked him down, and P.I. actually went to his house, right? Because they had him on a phone call. Yep, they phoned him saying he's got a video of all this and everything. She tracked him down and she went to his house and he said, oh no, that's probably my son. 
and she's thinking, no, I heard the phone call. That was your voice. If you've got video, show us the video. But he, he kept saying, it wasn't me. It must be my son. So she just struck it off. It wasn't. It's just uh, an eye hole coming out of the woodwork. I lived in Cook County. Hold on. I lived in Cook County, Illinois. It is very corrupt, so I've seen a lot of criminal activity in law enforcement and politics, including on a living. Yeah. Yeah. But you see, it annoys me. We get it here in the UK. We get corrupt cops in the UK. They just sent one down for life, I believe, for the murder of a young girl back in 2020. Right? And uh, that was like four years ago now, or three years. Whenever he got sent down, probably 2021, by this time it went to court and everything, but we've got police officers being sent down, left, right and centre, we've got corrupt cops, but if you can't be, do your job, Dave Carr, he owns the store, Bolly High School, and he saw it, oh, I don't know about that one, hold on, I'm going to write his name down, he owns the store, by the market. Right, let's get me a pen. Right, Dave Carr. Uh, market. School. He owns the store by the house. He owns the school. Do you know what? Do you know what road it was on? I know he did. He also had a rage attack at Seth about that. You cannot talk about his mother being in a car by the school. Oh no, we can't do that. That's a no no. Um. So, I'll look that up. I'm going to look that up for tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. That's, I've got to go, you know, I've got to go out tomorrow morning. I've got to go over to my son's. So, tomorrow afternoon, I'll do a bit of research. Check that out. Okay? Because I'm not going to do anything, mention anyone on here, talk about anyone, unless I've checked it out. Okay? So, and if need be, I'll ask. I'll email some other YouTubers if they know about that person. Worse than my world. Hold on. W-R-S-H-A. Okay. Yeah. Seth's PI spoke to that Davis, that Ken Davis. And because he kept saying it was his son, it wasn't him, she, and he wasn't, he couldn't give her the video, and she knew it was him, she could, she knew his voice, she heard the phone call. So she knew it was him when she was speaking to him, and he was just saying, he kept trying to blame his son. What an ass a-hole he is. Blaming your son for something the PI knows you was you because of your voice. So, good place to out number the bag. So, but you see, people don't see that, SJ. People don't see the good place. They only see the bad place. And they might be less than 1% you know, out of all the law enforcement. They might just be less than 1%.
being involved in Parliament. Ooh, you know the ropes. So, so you've all worked in some form of law enforcement or something. Yeah, so as I was saying about that Ken Davis, because he kept blaming his son, even though she knew it was him, she recognised his voice from the phone call. She she just literally thought, you know what, this is just one a-hole who is now coming out of the woodwork. But I'll check on that other person. Because... Apparently, he said there were other people who saw it as well and reported it to the police. So, but if he's got video, why doesn't he just give it to the PI? You know what I mean? Why go back? Yeah, okay, you may have seen it. But if you haven't got video, don't go around telling people you've got video. That doesn't help because eventually you're going to be asked to give them that video. Right? So, but it's just sad. The whole situation is sad. There's too many conspiracies out there. There's too many, too much BS, too many lies. And I am worried for Katie at the moment. Right. Well, if she's got something to do with this, then she needs to speak out. People generally psychology, psychology, remember the bad situation that happened in the course of the day. Psychologue. Well, it's like some I was taught when I was doing a course in counselling many years ago. So, like, if I'm having a conversation with someone, I kind of, like, do a bit of uh, therapy with them when I'm talk when I'm listening to them, when I actively... Because people say, I listen to you. No, you don't. You listen to what you want to hear. You don't actively listen. Anyway, so, she, they used to say, write down a list of all the pros and cons about yourself. And I can guarantee you, you'll have a list as long as you are, everything bad you can name about yourself. Right? Now speak of the bad, please. Write about it and dwell on it. They shouldn't, they shouldn't look on, just because you got one bad apple, Right? It doesn't mean they're all bad. It doesn't. And I wish people would stop looking like that. Oh, like that one who stood on that, how that guy down by the neck. Right? All those guys. I'm sorry, but they are just one or two out of a force of how many? And now... We can't judge the rest of the police, law enforcement, because of those one or two people. You can't. If you want how, like, pe you have people saying, oh, I hate the police. I hate the flipping police. Especially in the UK, you hear it all the time. But I can guarantee you, they are the first police person they phone when they need help. Oh, I thought you hate the police. I'm doing what I've been broken into. You hate the police. So why phone them? Why should they come and help you if you hate them? But they will. They know you hate them, but they will still come and help you. You know what I mean? Because that is their job. So it really annoys me when I hear people say, I hate the police. I hate them. Well, I hope to God you never need them. I hope to God you never need the police. Yeah. They've got to... Yeah, okay, we've got one bad cop. 
one bad cop. Let's deal with this case, get him sent down, then move on. Right? Because there's one bad cop out of thousands, out of hundreds and thousands of police. So it really does annoy me when I hear people running down the police and law enforcement. Yeah, I've said many times, Cross, where are the police when you need them? Well, perhaps it would help if they called them. You know what I mean? <laughs> perhaps if we called the police, they'd be there. But then I think, well, perhaps someone did phone the police. You don't know. So if you haven't phoned the police, and I'm going to have to keep reminding myself this, don't stand there and say, where are the police when you need them? Because unless you have phoned the police, you don't know if anyone else has phoned them or not. So just phone the police, tell them what's going on. And if it's been reported, they will say so. Because I've many times I've phoned the police and said, yes, we know we've had the phone. Yeah, police are on the way. I'm going to get my mouth. So they will say, yes, uh, the police are on the way. Don't worry, we have police coming to, to that area now. Police knows, media knows anything that causes strong emotion is a good thing for them. Yes, because it sounds, it's a bit like on here. We click bait. Right? So Sebastian's, no, article of clothing of Sebastian's. No, it wasn't of Sebastian's. It was similar to Sebastian. But they don't put that in. They put article of clothing found of Sebastian's. People click on it. And that's clickbait. And I don't know that. I've just put up on today. My, I've misspelled it as well. Just noticed. Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. Hashtag Team Sebastian. Let's talk. And that's all we're doing is talking. We're just talking about Sebastian, about Chris, about Katie, about Seth. And we listened to that video. I didn't put that in the title because the video come up after I've done my, I've set my um, stream, stream footing out. So I forgot to add it into the title, but I thought it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I wish I could listen to you more, but I'm going to blow Bibles. Oh, well, have a good Bible st session. All right. Clear your mind of all this dra drama. Clear your mind. And come back all nice and fresh. But I should really go because I've been on here two hours and two and a half hours. And it's been lovely chatting with you all. But let's hope. Uh, this is Sebastian. Let's hope Katie comes forward and says something, or someone goes and checks on her. Because I'm, uh, I'm really worried about her. If she is guilty of something, I don't care. She needs to be checked on. Thank you, Heather Ann. Thank you. So, I'm going to finish on that note. And I'm going to finish by playing out with the video I've got of Sebastian. Right. And I will be back. What day is it? Tomorrow. Friday's, Thursday tomorrow. I'll be, no, Friday. I'll be back tomorrow night at 8 o'clock as usual. And hopefully we'll have some good news. I doubt it. But we can hope. Okay. So thank you all for being here tonight. If you haven't already, please hit the like. And I will see you all tomorrow. I'm going. That's the one I want.